Hi guys, welcome back. Or if you're new, hi, how are ya? Today is the day that we watch Agatha all along. At, oh my god, my voice is crazy right now. We are gonna watch Agatha all along, episode five. And I have been dodging spoilers left and right. And it has been crazy. I have to like immediately swipe away if I have a feeling or see that like anything is related to Agatha along because people don't have the courtesy to say it's spoiler or not. So I do know I did get spoiled. So if you don't want to hear the spoiler, skip ahead a little bit. But I did hear that this episode, they reveal Billy's identity, which we all know is Wiccan. So I'm excited to see how they do that. I kind of saw like the first frame of it. So like I know when to expect it, which kind of is a bummer, but it is what it is. At least I don't know exactly what happened. I'm excited to just get into it. Truly so, so, so excited. I look forward to this every single week and I don't know what we're going to do like once it's over, especially since we're more than halfway through. There's only nine episodes, so we're just going to get right into it. Let's let Disney do their thing and play. Oh, I would have guessed it was Billy too, but now I know it's Billy. Like his power is being revealed and it's alluding to that. Okay. I thought we were going to get Billy's backstory in episode eight, to be honest. We got the fox and the crow, the snake, <gasps> the Salem seven. Oh, so are they changing the Salem seven? Because already it kind of feels a little bit different oh my god so i know mcu has a way of changing certain things so what if they change it so that billy is the leader of salem seven instead of nicholas scratch that'd be interesting we left the door open what are you talking about what did you see go on Noah. tell them <gasps> rio knew about it stealing their power because her own mother tried to have her ex okay look at rio having her back it's serial killer you Okay, all right. No need for that. <laughs> Always finish what you started. Oh, okay. So that's how they're changing it. They are the children of the witches that she killed during the Salem trial. Got it. Cute. You could have done better. <laughs> they have beef, and I want to know why. <laughs> if you can give me one back, yeah. yeah uh, let me just. Oh, that's so cute. Oh no, teen! Nice. Okay, look at you, Alice. Oh my god. Wait, this is so cool. Confirmed, witches can fly on brooms or like wood pieces. Oh my god. This, ah, I'm so excited. I can only imagine the episode for Halloween week. Like, that's probably gonna be so good and so spooky, and I kind of love every bit of it. But if it's not, and this is the most spookyish to be in this episode, I think this is a missed opportunity. I'm just saying. But we'll see, because that's coming up in like, oh, two weeks, I think. Ooh, not the longing gaze at Rio. Ooh, the witch's road has a different path for them. Oh my god, her cackle. Ooh. Okay, whose trial is this? I think it's gonna be Patty's. Maybe not though. Oh, it's Agatha's trial or teens? Oh, by the way, guys, someone was saying on TikTok that what if the green witch is not actually like a literal green witch, like good with plants and whatever? What if it means green as in new? And what if Billy was meant to be in the coven? You know what I mean? I don't know. I think it could be a good theory that he was meant to be in the trials all along. No, we're not. The entire Halloween aisle's outside waiting for us. It doesn't look like they can get in. That's true. I think these are like customized to each person. So they can only really do the trials based on the coven that they're with. And it would change with each coven. I'm pretty sure. Which coven is this? Agatha's. I knew it. Knew it was Agatha's. We have to Ouija. Okay, that's their timer. What if they communicate with Wanda? And that's how we get teens reveal. Yeah? Do not use the Ouija board alone. Perfect. We're all gathered. True. Oh, mm, that might not be so easy. Do not taunt the spirits. That's that's directly for you, Agatha. You are so unserious. You be taunting everybody left and right. Do 
not ask about death. Does that mean don't ask about Rio too? Because she is deaf. For ages three and up. <laughs> That's crazy that it's only minimum age three to talk to spirits. We actually. Mrs. Hart? <gasps> Sharon! Hey girl. Doing <laughs> Not the hey girl. <laughs> oh, is she gonna take on Mrs. Hart? <gasps> I'm Sharon Davis. Yeah. <laughs> She's just scared. Oh wait, so this was a ruse? She wasn't actually Sharon? I thought that was pretty good. The clock is ticking. Okay, she fooled me too, to be honest. I got bamboozled. The fact that she was so unserious and did that whole bit when they are running on a timer is kind of crazy. Agatha, please. We're not supposed to ask about that. Shh. We. What do you want? S H. Wait. Hello. Rio is right there, though. Who do you want to punish? A. G. A. T H A. Yup. We knew that was coming. <gasps> they have to punish her? That's kind of crazy. Yes. What could tie her up? You're not serious. I mean, or we could just slit her. Okay, all right, Rio. Why? <laughs> why why are we taking it that far? Wait, where'd she go? Whoa. Agatha. She has been waiting all all this time to do this. This is her moment, and she's a little too excited. Does anyone else hear that? This would have been a perfect Halloween week episode. It's above them. <gasps> Wait, whoa! When did that happen? What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, what is happening? <gasps> Not her choking her out. Is she really gonna choke her out? Where is she? Whoa, wait, what the fuck is happening? Is she back on the ceiling? Oh, her mom. Nice having you in my body for a second there. Oh my God. That was her? Damn. You must finish the witch's road without Agatha. What? Why? A minute ago, you were ready to slit her throat. Yeah, well, her mother can't have her. Wait a minute. Whoa, wait, <laughs> what is happening? So does this mean that Rio is not death and her mom is actually death? Were we misguided? You were born evil. Cause it kind of looks like the Funko Pop. I'm not gonna lie. Jesus Christ, what a what a thing to say to your own daughter. The only danger to us in this trial is Agatha Harkness. She has been against Agatha this whole time, though. Oh my God. <gasps> Ooh. Oh my God, her powers are coming out. <gasps> oh my God, she's gonna take her power. That's crazy, Agatha. She's gonna kill Alice? No way! Her son, her son. So her son is actually dead. Oh my God. Wait, so Nicholas is actually dead? No, that is crazy. Also, her killing Alice like that? That is, I knew one of them was gonna die. No, uh, I really liked Alice. Don't touch her. Literally. You don't deserve it. Oh, damn. He turned on her so fast. Alice, please wake up. Alice. Billy, oh, I'm so sorry. She is gone. Oh my God. Damn. Another one bites the dust. That's crazy. Oh, she has powers now. Girl. And you're happy about it, girl. Be so fucking for real. At what cost, you know? That's what this has always been about for you, isn't it? Of course it is. Jen, you are not helping the situation. Comes for us all. Oh, that is so ominous. <gasps> Wait. Wait, what does she know? What does she know that we don't know? Are you sure? What does she know that we don't know? She figured it out. I wonder how long she's known though. Maybe she found out when her mom was in her body or maybe she's known all along. Who knows? What? What? Oh, his blood hammers! Stop. Wait, stop. 
my god, it's him, it's him. <gasps> She's going in the goo. Oh my god, wait, what is happening? What is happening? Whoa! Why are you sending them to the goo? Is he a part of the Salem 7? Was my theory correct about that? <gasps> ah! Shut up. So I got spoiled of the ending. Okay, got it. Got it. Cool. Great. Y'all, what the fuck? What the fuck? Wait, let me go back a little bit. So he throws all of them in the goo. And then he gets the Wiccan crown. Okay, there's so many ways we could go about this. Well, we knew Teen was Wiccan. Now we definitely know he's Wiccan. Apparently, Nicholas is actually dead because that's who she heard when they were talking to, you know, the dead. I'm kind of confused about that because on the Ouija board, they said they were talking to death. So do they mean literally? And Rio is not actually death. Maybe it's actually a Funko Pop of her mom. Or because Rio's not in there. So what if her mom takes on Rio's body? I don't know, though. I have more questions and I'm more confused than ever with the whole lady death thing or like death in general and Rio being death. I don't know anymore. I genuinely don't know anymore. Is she actually death or not? I think there could still be some hope that she's not after this whole thing. Like maybe she's not. Maybe, maybe she is Blackheart. Maybe she is Emerald Warlock. I don't know. Who really knows? But also Billy had a whole spell book, like literally a whole spell book of things. So it's not like he was new to magic, but he was new word to magic. He's like a little baby witch. But what if he like figured out what was happening and like somehow is in cahoots with the Salem seven because the Salem seven is literally the children of all the witches that she, you know, unalived during the Salem trial. So they're all literally descendants of the people that she killed. And technically Billy is kind of like that. I mean, Wanda was not a part of the Salem seven, and technically Agatha did not directly unalive, you know, Wanda, but she did have her hand in it with the whole dark hold situation. So maybe Billy is under the impression that Agatha is the root of the problem. You know what I mean? But I don't even know if that theory makes sense. I'm not really convinced on it either, to be quite honest with you guys. But I mean, if they're saying that Nicholas is not alive and they're mentioning the Salem Seven, then easily they could swap out Nicholas for Billy because MCU does swap out people and their storylines and just kind of make it work based on the people that they have in their lineup and the people that the cast and stuff. So that truly might be what it is. I don't really know anymore. My question is, why would Billy do that though? To not only Agatha, like I can understand Agatha and, but why Jen and Patty Lapone? I don't remember Patty Lapone's character's name. I'm so sorry. That's why I keep saying Patty Lapone. But why would he do that to Patty Lapone and Jen? Yeah, like why would he do that? And also, where is Rio? These are the questions that I have. I don't know if they're gonna be resolved until the next episode. But let me know if you guys have any theories. What are your thoughts? Like genuinely, if you haven't told me your thoughts yet this episode is the episode to tell me your thoughts because i am confused i'm sure you guys are also like what the fuck is happening maybe you're not maybe you guys are more informed and that's even more you let us know your theories but let me know what you guys think of this episode what are your thoughts what what are your thoughts on rio agatha billy all of them salem seven i would love to know all of your thoughts your input your theories for the future episodes. I I would love to hear it. We can talk about it in the comments. I have been try like I've been pretty active with commenting people back as much as I can so we can talk about it there genuinely. And that is it, guys. Super excited. I'm super excited with the direction of the show because I genuinely have no idea how they're going to move forward. I think I have to like start reading back some of the comics to kind of get some insight and like maybe predict some stuff. So yeah. I'm excited. I'm going to dive into it and i will see you guys next time bye